I just want to I want to make sure that the stream is actually live before we broadcast this match. It's not live yet. I'm gonna join my brethren. Yes. Yes. This is delicious. All right, we're live. You see, though, if he doesn't use a color I like, he's instantly bad. That's how that works. That is how it works. I could make a color tier list if you want. A color tier list. Stop being racist, y'all. <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit, though, some colors in this game are just straight up bad. Yeah. The yellows, dude? I mean, they're really good. But Oh, man, that one orange Laura color, where her entire body is orange? Well, let's just agree that the uh, the blue color of Laura, where her lips are just, like, had this Yellow. gross white lipstick on it? Like, no, I'm sorry, you've yeah, ruined a perfectly bad. good color. I'm not a, I'm not a very big fan of the, uh, of the Japanese exclusive Kami color. Why? Oh, here we go. Hunter X Ninja with the best color, Boy Band Ryu, his trademark, and Gog Body with the, the urine mustard yellow bison. The JoJo right, costume, he's too. He's good. I use the yellow color, too. We're good now. Not all flavors were created equal. <laughs> you see, the only reason I use yellow is because Disco already stole orange, so I got a deal. Hunter X Ninja. Whoa, that was an interesting little exchange. Just teleporting right underneath and getting the, uh, the cross yeah. under jab. And I jump in. Throwing up standard. Good anti air DP from Hunter X Ninja. Totally ready for that. Oh, the shimmy! Oh, how was that a shimmy? It's just a dash up throw. It was a dash up and then a back dash. And then he did, uh, I believe it was like fierce into, uh, fierce kick target combo. Whoa, I'm not sure what that trade is just there, but, uh... Here we go, I don't know Ninja with the parry saying, I'm not gonna let you take this guy for free, fuck that. <laughs> Good. Round two. That's something you don't see enough, uh, professional replayers doing these days, is taking advantage of the parry and actually capitalizing on it with, uh, something that's more damaging than the DP would have been. Well, that's like, that's like Hunter's trademark there. He's like, I'm gonna parry all the things. <laughs> Ooh, interesting choice to go for the light Tatsu there. Sticking you as Ken for a bit. The heavy Tatsu would have like flown across the screen. Wow, no touch center on the DP. Much bad. All right, Hunter X Ninja getting pressured in the corner here. Let's see if he can work his way out. Good sweep into V trigger cancellation. Here we go, the tides have turned. This is a way more difficult situation for a bison to be in than Ryu. Ryu wins. G Wizard on point with that, uh, that name tech. <laughs> this is a bad color. What, the boy band Ryu? That That's is the a color. terrible the only color. It's a trademark color. Round one. Oh, God Body pressing that jump fierce a little bit too early, not getting the punish on that fireball. Hunter is just all narrowly jabs. dropping the combo. Oh no, not enough parries. God Body is doing all these dabs, but like no conversion off of any of them. Oh, there we go, another parry where DP would have sufficed. He's going for it, and I, I applaud it because he's hyped for the stream. But you gotta actually do something with it. Conversion from the jumping light from jab, but doesn't go for the combo. So it just goes for the reset, gets the stun, and there's. Round two. Sorry, I went and I got some popcorn. Again with the jumping light to the jab. Well, you can actually convert off of that for quite a bit. Parries. He's so parry happy. I don't know why he's only throwing out jabs. He could be. With much heavier he's keeping an eye out for that V reversal is what he's doing because if uh because I'm actually surprised that uh the god body hasn't been using those V reversals a lot more often. 
That's like one of the only options he has aside from that super oh, that he just busted no. out in the corner and got parried and punished. No, it wasn't a good punish though. He had to wait. Would have been sick as if he, because he could get a full neutral jump punish. On Bison Super. But yeah, usually I just... when you're playing a Bison, you assume when they have that V trigger that they're going to V reversal on their first chance. Mm -hmm. So if you meet you with that jab, you can then uh, beat the V reversal throw. So I feel like that just... might be something like what he's going for. Did I just no. hear him parry his V reversal? No, that no, that's playing super. super. It's a super. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Was that was that it? Was that did that end that quickly? All right. Let's go ahead. Once oh, winners match time. All right, we got Zeta Zeta and the real seal. So we got Vega and Birdie. Birdie. I haven't seen Zeta Zeta in a long time. Yeah, he's been bouncing Zeta. around. At least not in top eight. Um, yeah, invite them in. I guess I'll set up the set right. the overlay right now. Uh, else, the uh, real underscore seal. I'll get Zeta Zeta. Now, if you've ever seen any casual conversation in the Discord. You would have, you would know just by context that the way Seal plays that is like an idiot, and it just works. He beat Mast, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to see this. I want to see how idiot. I really want to see how Seal plays. I've never should I, seen should it. I name him as? Yeah. Should I put him as the real Seal? Should I put him as Crimson Sage? Uh, uh, put him by. Uh, put him as real. Okay. Yes, Zeta, Zeta, Ultra Flat Bird. Right, yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. Uh oh, Seal does not seem confident that it's Birdie. <laughs> Do what? Seal nobody does not sees, seem confident. Nobody sees Birdie and then gets happy. Like, it's just, even if it's a good matchup for you, it's like, fine, alright. Yeah, because so Birdie is so infuriating to play against. Yeah, he's so boring. <laughs> I'm gonna back him, I'm gonna throw six cans at you. Holy fuck. <sighs> Who was put to the top of the queue? Because if we get Birdie at uh, Kanzuki Beach, somebody has to do something. No, it's Seal. It's okay. okay. Yeah, I, I just told him no beach. Whoa, this costume. We have got Tuxedo Mask Vega versus just generic gross Birdie. Oh. <laughs> That's that a tattoo of a heart on the side of his head. Yep. Wow, he's so That's like so the cute. only cool thing about Birdie. There are so many weird things about Birdie's character design that it's hard to just pick out one and be like, that's the weird one. That's how you know he's an alpha character. Oh, Alright, right off the bat, the names again. Zeta Zeta putting, making good use of his uh, very good anti air, which uh, Vega wishes that he had. There it is again. That shit has like eight active frames or something ridiculous. Oh, and that can, that technically is not a projectile, so you can't just DX roll through it. Yeah, I saw you throw that birdie shade in oh. the yesterday. Out of the corner. Zeta, Zeta. Interesting choice for the real seal to, to follow up with that hit off the Barcelona dive instead of the uh, Izum drop. There you go, now the names are correct. Zeta, Zeta, those super long range crouching light awesome. punches. I'm starting to believe Steel. Because he's just doing the weirdest shit, and it's working to a degree. He's not doing random slides though, so I have a lot of that. Ooh, anti air, oh, anti air Barcelona. Drop. I'm not sure what he's going for there. Oh, I think he might have actually been able to combo out of that. I'm not sure though. Nowhere to nope. He was too active to actually gonna get caught by those random uh, chain grabs. Here we go, conversion into Rose. He doesn't have super to follow it up, however, and he mistimes wow. the needy command grab. That's gonna cost him. Well, Trades with a... the anti air. Yeah, I'll take Still that trade. Whoa, okay, chain at the start of the oh, round. Okay. Starting to get a little bit of a download there at uh, Real Seal's tendencies at the start of the round. Is that real? Is that a real thing that people do? Fan Fierce, Claw Switch, and the Crafty Spirit? Is that a real? 
Why do we, why would you see that, man? Oh, Real Steel had the conversion off of the wall dive. However, he squandered it. Far away. Here we go, Rose. Can't get anything off of that, but you can a, just get a clutch, like, zero height Izuna drop off of that wall dive. I'm amazed by how well he's doing on these Barcelonas. You know I, feel like we don't see, Barcelona I feel like he's getting away with way too many of them. Especially considering Brody's anti here? Yeah. Now we're just gonna wait for Seal to go Super Saiyan and take off the coat. No, the coat is amazing. The coat's necessary. It's not, though. Vega with coat is ten times better than Vega without. Round one. He wouldn't be Tuxedo Mask without the coat. He would just be... He would just be Mask. Here we go. Another compliment. Uh, again, doesn't do anything after that standing light kick after the uh, Barcelona dive. I don't think he's actually expecting to confirm off of these properly. Another dive, gets another hit, again. Gets the crouching, uh, I think that's medium kick afterwards. Let's follow yes. up. Alright, now he's is... cornered, and the Zeta Zeta just does stuff and wins. <laughs> this is what I think makes Birdie so annoying to fight, is that he never really has to move. Brody's got a lot of really annoying stuff that is negative, but it leaves you just far enough away that you really have to think about what to use to call it out. Ooh, good shimmy there, calling up the Vanguard. For free, for whatever reason. His anti is amazing. Just like that, that what? uh, that slide, I don't even know how, what to call it, but that, that slide headbutt. You can call that out, but uh, it leaves him such a weird... It leaves him at such a weird distance that, uh, even if you block it, it's hard to know what to press. That and, uh, his forward fierce has armor, and... Again, yeah, there's that, the forward fierce. You, know, you, think you're, you think to yourself, why would they give that to him? And Capcom just sends you a letter that says, why It not? is punishable, however, so if you know how to punish it, you can take advantage of that every time. Oh, wow. That's really good there. Here we go. Now we have con uh, confirmation off of that, uh, that EX wall dive. That was actually really cool how the armor absorbed the first hit and he was still able to pretty much punish the end of the EX headbutt. Real Steel trying to take the skies, underestimating Zeta's ability to anti air there. Ooh, I like what he was trying to do, uh, jumping over that can. However, he pressed the wrong button to get the cross up there. And Zeta Zeta's saying, I'm going to throw out as many of these cans as you let me. Even jumping in, also calling out Zeta Zeta on his, on Vega's uh, bad anti air options. As a matter of fact, yeah, it, it, sometimes it almost feels like Birdie needs a four bar V trigger. Four bar V trigger. His V trigger is very like underestimated. I feel like again, I feel like he could have uh, gone off of that wall dive, but instead he just that went was for the picks up. Real Steel's hitting a lot of these like really clutch wall dive situations that most people wouldn't be able to do in training mode, and then he's just not confirming off of them. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, can I just say guys when your health is that low? Is the risk. real Steel is only using FBA. I'm not seeing any yeah. ground game besides jump and FBA. The FBAs are working too. Is the sick part? <laughs> oh, that's sick. That's real sick. I mean, that's how every Vega on Earth plays, though. Yeah, and know. then once you learn to shut it down, then they kind of just turn off. They just... Vega's an amalgamation of gimmicks. If he can find the right gimmick to open you up, it's all... It's it's done. Because it's like, he's got what? He's got slide, he's got dash up command <laughs> grab, slide. he's got his jump-ins, and then he's got FBA, and it's all just like, right. pick your gimmick, and then whichever one works, the one you can win the round with. Like, even right oh, now, now he's playing he's... down cam. Look at this, though. Oh, oh now we got going. Go. Nope, never mind. There's the jump in, and that was. Yeah. I was about to say that was uh, Zeta Zeta's chance to start an offense, but unfortunately, Real Steel just manages to build, uh, get wow. the, the momentum right back again, and it's not going to be enough to kill, but he needs one more mix up. Goes to the crouching light, blocked, text the throw. Zeta Zeta's just thinking about what he can do here. Oh, uses nice. the armor. 
keep himself alive there. Puts the can out. Doesn't confirm off of it, however. Yeah, that was so grab. far away. No setup afterward. Oh, man just took open the throw. Tech. And that's all that Real Steel needed. It was just one jumping normal. Round two. Continue with the pattern of only winning with, uh, with airborne moves. Yeah. Zeta Zeta is on point with that anti air whenever he can. Here we go, not the X, but the uh, Meatless Free Willy gets the stun. This is gonna be. Oh no, he tried to mix it up in a command grab. I think he was a bit too far, and I also think that he inputted it too early. Zeta takes it back with the round. This is a match point for Zeta Zeta. Real Seal's got two bars for two EX Flying Barcelona attacks on the ready. Now he's got all three. Critical Art. Critical Art? No, that's three Flying Barcelona attacks if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Here we go. Bam. Yeah, we Doesn't go. go for the Azuna again. I don't know why he never opts for that. It does more damage if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. More damage than a knockdown. I don't know why. He's there. Oh, it is. It's over. He only, he only wanted to do it if it killed. Yeah, that's so that's just that really win. stupid. <laughs> uh, that was a really interesting that's how, match. That's, he's, he's managing to hit with that EX flying fly bar zone attack on the way up. Just sort of like whip punishing with it. Which is a smart way to use it. Alright. Okay. Real Seal moves on. Oh, Slain is next. Rest in peace, cool Quiz. No, what are you talking about? Me and Slain? I mean... Keep is a bad matchup for Cammy, but we'll Lane, the man, and the wizard. I'll be honest. I don't see you beating Slane. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Nah, man. I don't, I don't, I don't really I mean, want your... I'll give you the benefit of a doubt, but really, no. I don't really like, want to hear your negativity, it. but... <laughs> Alright, top to the bottom of the queue here. I'm not I'm not messing with the overlay. I'm overlay for this match. Just turn it off then. It's off. Hey, you wanna move down? I had to move some boxes real quick. Alright. <sighs> okay. One thing I love about playing Steve is that if you ask him how he does stuff, he just goes, I don't know, I just push buttons. Sure, butter, press buttons. It's like, Slane's entire brain is just hard reads and the one key combo. <laughs> the one. Well, Geep only has like two combos. I'm trying to think about this matchup in terms of, uh,. In terms of character matchup, and just on paper, I would think that it'd be in Cammy's favor, but a lot of Cammy's just seem to complain about it a lot. No, it's, it's not well, it's favor. because it's because Cammy makes one mistake in this matchup and it ends. Yeah, yeah she has lowest health, lowest stun, and it's like you're all of a sudden your normal non EX die picks are off the table because you're not you can't afford to put yourself minus oh, against boy. Eve at all. You also risk, run the risk of being RSPD on reaction. Woo! G Wizard just sort of taking himself over that armor and getting the cross up once again, but however, he puts himself into the corner, which is the last thing you want to do against Skeev. Here we go, works his way back out with an EX die pick. Manages to confirm himself a nice little combo. Take out a good chunk of Slain Man's health. However, here's gonna be the turnaround. All of a sudden, G was just sitting on half stun because he's gonna have to let that build down for a bit. However, the character positioning is the most important thing to consider here. Slain Man now has more than half the screen to push G Wizard back. And it looks like he's not doing a very good job of that. He's sort of uh, dancing around a lot in, the, uh, in neutral here, but he's gonna need to figure something out. What was looking very strong for him is all of a sudden looking like an uphill battle. Whoa, the EX Hooligan! Oh my 
god, how did he react to the forward dash? Doing a crouching jab into the V-Trigger, not a high enough level of V-Trigger in order to confirm auto, and G Wizard's going to oh. manage to dodge that one frame start of critical art and get the punish for the win. I think this is the first time I've seen Slaying just like fall apart for two. Love it. Medium kick into the SPD. Boy. Classic. Doesn't even need the armor on that heavy punch. Just does it and knocks Cammy out of the sky. And now it's looking tough for G Wizard. Slay Man's got optimal positioning here. As long as he could not let his prey escape, this is in the bag. The wizard does have access to that V trigger. He can very easily just activate that and then so drill his way out. However, it's a little bit too late here. Sitting on very oh little health. All Slam Man needs is one more touch, and he can uh, put an end to this with his burly man arms, and it is done. Yeah, this is laggy as hell. Final round. Oh, that's a shame. Fight. You're both in Canada, though. Is that even like? Well, even that's not how it right? works. It's it's more about the uh, <laughs> more about the horizontal. Than the vertical in that aspect. Slam man whipping DP from across the screen. Trying to figure something out here. I'm not sure what he's trying to cash. Oh, it's an SF2. Oh, this is going to be a big punish opportunity for Slam man. And he drops it. He puts it on the ground and says, I don't need this. I am going to win this the hard way. And G Wizard agrees and puts himself into the corner against Slam man. Here we go. The back throw is what he needed. And all of a sudden, uh, this positioning is working in G Wizard's favor. Here we go, the SPD, that's gonna be heavy punch. He gets a mix up afterwards, except for the fact that he doesn't take it. Stunned. Oh boy. Oh no, it's not over. That is the, that is not stun. G-Wizard's gonna sit here and chill, have a cigarette break while a stun bar builds back down. Again with the random EX hooligan into the throw. Slain Man has to learn how to press a button or crouch, anything except for what he's been doing, which is walk backwards, a reaction to that EX hooligan. And Man, did you go watch a lot of? Did you watch a lot of old Tokido matches? Because he would do like stupid shit like that. Like walk up, do nothing. <laughs> just like <laughs> no, it's just like random oh. ex demon flip full screen into some stupid garbage. Round one. I remember he pulled that on Fudo and it worked. So I was like, oh, what? Shit. How do you let him ex demon flip across? Here the we go. The dash up. Dash up. I think that was heavy punch. No, it was not heavy punch. SPD. That was. This is uh. I don't believe it's heavy light. He's medium. He figured something out that we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Slain man, not going for the uh, the crouching jab and SPD trap there. Instead, he's trying to go for the headbutt afterwards. Here we go. G Wizard has got Slain man into the corner. It doesn't benefit G-Wizard, but it- Oh no! That benefits Slayman! Oh boy! You're moving yourself into the corner like that! G-Wizard's regretting what he just did. Slayman has to learn to press that advantage a little bit. He's got that V-Trigger ready, so he's looking for an opportunity to use it, and he wastes it. He's so red, oh my god. Red body, blue veins. It's gross. He's already like orange. We've got GTL Zangief over here. With the gray beard. Old he went to the tanning salon, but he did not get that gesture, man. Slay man doing a good job this round of walking uh, G Wiz into the corner, not depending on G Wiz to just like dive kick or hooligan his own way into it this time around. Wait, did you go for the hooligan throw again? Yeah. Slay man tried to armor that dive kick, however, it came out a little bit too fast for those armored frames to actually activate. And now Slay man is in the corner. He has to figure something out here. Maybe get a back throw or something. Wow, very, very delayed oh, man. throw into EXSPD. Why is he not? I would have just did the view the critical and critical air. Air DP from G Wiz. Whoa, I'm not sure what he was trying to go for with that running bear grab. Trying to catch G Wiz not pressing up, which is the only thing that we know that he has been pressing. GG! <laughs> oh, I love that confirmation that EX hooligan Wait. slide into DP. What? Good why are you allowed stuff. to do that? Why is that a thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why half of the the, the properties of that hooligan slide are like they are. But you know what? Yeah, sure, it's. I don't. I don't like, I like that you have like eight different options off the hooligan. My my head hurts. <laughs> All right, good stuff, G Wizard. Defeating the demon there and beating. Uh, uh, I feel like that was unenjoyable for everybody involved. Yeah, it was laggy. <laughs> Thanks, salty sales, for the uh, for the words of encouragement.
<laughs> so now we got Mass Nobleman. He was no a one has ever played psychology loot. Movie. That was Mass Nobleman Seven versus Muscle Cope. I believe that's how you pronounce that. I'm so mad he doesn't play Geef with that kind of name. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Uh, Alright, I added mass if anyone wants to get seven. Alright. Alright, got them invited. I, I gotta change my character real quick to support the Barcelona Brawlers. There we go. Alright, top of the back of the queue. Let these two do the thing. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Who is it? It's Mass Nolan versus okay, Mass Nolan's first. Hey, I feel like this is an uphill battle for Vega if I've ever seen one. I'm not gonna add the seven. I don't think he wants the seven. <laughs> yeah. Was, there, was Mass Nolan just taken in every other situation? I mean, probably. It was. It was like if you played Vega in Street Fighter Four, that's the only title you ever used. Really? Yeah. Like every. I always, I was, on the off chance I ever ran into another Vega player, they always had like Mass Nobleman, and I was like, okay, whatever. Of the title, gotcha. It's like picking Cami and naming yourself, risking it all seven. I don't know, man. All, all the of the titles CFN suck. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Do what? All of Cami's titles suck. She has like Flash Kick as a title. Dude, in Street Fighter 4, they had a title just for me. It was Towering Mountain, and it had hearts on it. And I was just like, somebody somebody thought of me when they made this title. Alright, yeah, Muscle Cop versus Mass Nobleman. Whoa, man, just to connect with a V-Skill from across the screen. Not sure what Mass Nobleman was doing there. I thought it was Mass Nobleman. I'm gonna see how this goes. Cause... Ooh, here we go, the back door into the corner. And of course, Muscle Cop just using those plus friends to his advantage. The anterior data cable is a little bit interesting. Not sure how that works in terms of hitboxes, but sure. Muscle Cop gets the stun. Big damage, not enough to kill. But also, not enough for a mass nobleman to mount a comeback of any kind. Round two. Fight. Whoa. Muscle Cop knowing his frame data, apparently. Ooh, doesn't go for the cross under, intentionally stays in front there, but still dashes forward. That's no one doesn't know which way to block. Crush counter oh, nice. air, heavy kick. That is not easy to do. Mass Nolman has practiced that in training mode. That's for damn sure. The reason I was saying earlier that uh, I feel like this is, must be a, uh, an uphill battle for, uh, for Vega is due to the fact that his anti airs are not optimal there. His anti airs are not as good as some of the other players in the cast. But if he can continue to land those anti air heavy kicks and stuff, then he can just straight up call me out of my lines. However, Muscle Cop managed to close that one out. Kami wins. Yeah, have you ever, Mount, have you ever seen the hitbox on Vega standing fierce? I'm not. It is a, it is a joke. Is standing fierce kick? No. Standing, standing fierce, fierce punch. Is, yeah. Okay. The one where he uh, he sweeps his claw over his head, but it only hits at his waist. Oh yeah. You see that hitbox and it just makes you feel bad. Oh god, these guys just tra trading hick and forms left and right. Who needs block buttons when you guys can just confirm left and right and slug it out? Now Muscle Cop has finally got Mass Nolman pinned down the corner. He managed to slide his way out. That's the first slide I've seen since he's been on stream. And he does another one right away, but into the rose. Muscle Cop was ready for that, that punish. Was... He was not ready for that rose, however. That was an odd confirm. Here we go. This is maybe going to be enough to kill? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, good clutch B scale there. That's Nolman dancing around looking for something. I think he's ready for an anti air, is what he's doing. He's spacing himself in that optimal range where you can get that standing fierce kick again. Muscle Cop doesn't take the bait. He does manage to connect with an EXDP, however. 
Wait, do you not Ooh, know that? He drops the DP that, input. Uh... It's gonna cost him that corner positioning. I've already managed to defuse way back into it. The wake up standing light kick from Mass Nolman, and then the Rose to get the hell out of the corner. Do you not know that a uh, heavy kick is called Roundhouse? Final round. Sure. Fight. Jab, strong, roundhouse, uh, short, straight, sweep. Short, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Uh, all, they make good punch except for the kick. The kick notification doesn't make sense, but the punch is too. That's the moment. Mew reverse his way into the corner. However, he doesn't save him from having to eat that uh, block strike. Here we go. Now he's got the Azuna drops on point oh and boy. it kills. That's Nolan put one on the board. Vega wins. I'm waiting for someone. They did the math on the uh, spinning bird kick. I'm waiting for them to do the math on the Azuna drop. They figured out that uh, if you did spinning bird kick in real life, it would kill you and everyone around you. It would kill everybody involved. Round one. No, it's only as godlike like thighs though. But I know what game. Here we go. There's a standing so. heavy kick anti air. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. There's that standing heavy kick anti air. <laughs> oh, excellent slide to get himself out of the corner there. That's not something you see very often. I'm not sure he was doing it on purpose, honestly, but it worked. Except for the fact that now he's back in the corner and he's almost done. I feel like that's just his get out of the corner card. Either Rose or Sweep if you don't have Rose. Interestingly enough, he's not defaulting those uh, EX Barcelona dives that we've seen earlier. Oh, wow. That was a very nice jump back here. And all of a sudden, Mass Nolman sitting on match point here. Again, Mass Nolman spacing himself just perfectly where he can get that anti-air standing heavy kick. And Muscle Cop needs to start realizing that, that when uh, Mass Nolman backs off on purpose, he's trying to bait that jump in. Like right now. And he jumps anyways, he doesn't go for the dive kick, however. Oh, wow. That was interesting. Yeah. Here we go, Muscle Cop trying to approach on the ground with that V-Skill. Dashes forward three too many times, and eats that uh, Flying Barcelona attack on the way up. Mass Nolman barely not able to punish that V-Trigger Spiral Arrow and manages to take it out. Good stuff to Mast Nolman 7. Alright, where do you guys want to go? Should we do Zeta Zeta and G-Wizard or do you want to do Mast and God Body? Let's do Mast and God Body. Just I want to see Mast right. and God Body. Alright, Mast, stay in there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and invite them. Gout about it. It's a fun name to say. Wow. Um, surprising to see one of the members from something that seems like he. Oh, he left. Man. It's okay, we can just invite him back. <laughs> right. But see, one of the members from the team that we thought would uh is gonna run over in the team tournament. One of the most annoying out. teams ever created. Just go Creamy Man Candy could... and Muscle Cop. Yeah. Creamy Can Mandy, Muscle Cop, and who else? <laughs> just go. Can Mandy. I just love calling him Creamy Can Mandy. I don't know, there's something about that name. Just rubbed through the right way. Creamy They're... Muscle Disco is pretty good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Their team name is amazing. Alright, stop at the bottom here. I don't know, man. We're team My Leg. In my legs, good too. Shout out to Dave Naughty. <laughs> off the wall garbage. I was, if it wasn't so good, I would still push for Team FGC Manga Edit. FGC Manga Edit? Since, since the Manga Edit started coming out in full force now. I'm excited to see this bison. You don't yeah. see a lot of bibsons anymore. 
The only bison we ever see is Disco, and Disco plays very conservative bison. Oh, with the color 10. That's just, that should just be the default color. The okay. Jojo Dark Blood Red Bison. See, if he was truly a Jojo fan, he would only ever use the purple one. <laughs> Round one. I was surprised by Master with the color. I'm not gonna lie. He has access to color 15. I don't know why he wouldn't use it. Honestly, like, I don't know, the, the Vega colors you can never differentiate them. They're, they're all just Vega to me. It doesn't matter what color his hair is or his shirt or his pants. As long as it's massive white, right? Exactly. They have like a uh, a pink mass Vega that'd be hype. Um, if you put a full Mass Nobleman just completely getting a stun and just yeah. taking it to God Body before we can ever get a chance to get warmed up. Oh man. In a oh, oh boy, in the bathroom. In Street Fighter 4, Vega had a costume where one of the colors turned his mask black. It was pretty cool. All right, guys, all the corner. That meaty standing heavy cake. That is, I believe, plus three on block. Oh man, that's a lot of white light, light. And you get the back. Yep. Godbody doing a good job of oh, nice pushing Mass Nolman into the corner on those knockdown counts. So far I haven't seen him quite make himself punishable with those dashes. He has to be careful not to do it once so many times, however. Godbody almost oh, stunned, and go. there it is! Stunned and killed at the same time. Mass Nolman, that was a little bit uh, too convincing. Let's hope that uh, the Godbody can, <laughs> can figure something out. Godbody's over there like, I got the bounty, I don't care. We're trying to do commentary, not consolation. <laughs> Round one. Uh oh. Do we have a DC? Oh, there we go. Nope. Ooh, Master Old Man just barely too far for that command grab. No answer from Godbody. He is petrified right now. He's afraid to press buttons. And there is the oh, stun once again. again. He got thrown for time. I don't know what he's waking up with, but it's not blocked, which is the only wake up that you have as Bison. Ooh, okay. Going to the um the opposite side. Doesn't get the hit, but manages to freak out Mass Dolman starting offense. The Tenma Go Rose from Mass Dolman. Not quite able to start anything with it. However, the Barcelona dive into sure win the round. And back into the bathroom. Wow. Wow. I'm trying to tell Godbody to wash his hands. He's not listening, however. If there's anything I want to see, is I want to see Godbody wake up a little bit smarter. We do have to keep an eye out for that, uh, that meaty command grab option, however. You should not wake up with buttons, especially when you've gotten punished for it so many times. Ooh, no solid anti airs out of Godbody. I don't blame him. His character does not have amazing ones. Here we go, in the corner. It's the oh, main crush and light kick. Good stuff. I think that was a triple drop combo. That was the one chance that you had, and you missed it. He started with the wrong button. Crush counter sweep. Oh, jumps right into that flying Barcelona attack. That's going to be it for Mass Nolman 7. So mean that's it for Godbody? I mean, depending on what your definition of it is. It. All right. We're going to invite Zeta Zeta in. It'll be Birdie versus Cammy. See if G Wiz can make it past Zeta Zeta. Hey, Matt, you want to commentate a money match after this? A money match? Between whom? Me and Goalie still have to play our first to five. I already paid you, and I said it's not happening. <laughs> Did you just pay him? Did you just pay him money? Hush money? No, I paid him because I was sick when it was supposed to happen, and I said, I really don't feel like playing it anymore. <laughs> Come on, man. Right, next, we got Zeta Zeta versus Blizzard. Okay, now I can. Now. I hate this matchup as well. You're, you're playing Birdie. This Zeta, is Zeta Birdie. Oh, oops, I meant Birdie, yeah. I still hate that matchup. I, I hate all three of those I just said. I hate everybody. Everybody sucks. 
They need a better Why can't we just have a bunch of cami mirrors? Why the? Why would you want to play that? It's bunch cool. of cami mirrors, cause. I think it might have a challenge when it was doing another first attempt and it goes knocking around. <laughs> so it's not ultra boring next time. We couldn't get anyone to spectate it, man. It felt bad. Should have asked. We did. I was literally, I was literally, I had my stream live the exact same time. Fight. Man, right, I guys, was it versus Loser jumps in at the start of the round. No anti-air from Zeta Zeta. He's gonna be ready for it from now on, however. He ha he's definitely used to this matchup now, if anything. Ooh, good timing on that mini V skill. I actually thought that was gonna be a little bit too early, but it actually uh hits. G Wizard on point with those anti-airs. Not gonna let Zeta Zeta get the free jump in bottom. Pressure from G Wizard. Say to say, man, just jab his way out of it. And oh this is going to be the kill. On round two. Fight. Alright, G Wizard is sitting at a meter advantage here. So he can very easily make his way in. Jumping Whoa, out the, the throw, the back throw from Zeta Zeta. Oh! And the desperation DP to try and get something out of the corner there, but Zeta Zeta doesn't follow up with what I think is a, an optimal crush counter, but he still manages to get that pressure going and he gets the stun. Very easy to do against Kami. This looks like a very laggy matchup from how much it's freezing on the spectator side, but Zeta Zeta closes up the match. That was pretty convincing. I hate you, Salty Sales. Why are you jumping in on Birdie though? Explain yourself. Because he's not anti air. Fight! Start of the round. Jump in anti air. No. Okay. Ooh, gets the crush counter fierce. He does it. It goes for the cross up. However, he just misplaces it a little bit and manages to corner himself. Ooh, G Wizard. I'm pressing the right button for the right occasion there. That's what I said about Birdie earlier. A lot of his normals are minus, but you have to know which buttons that you have that have just enough range to catch him out to call him out on him. Ooh, the meaty command wow, grab Zeta Zeta. Through. It's gonna be one more touch for Zeta Zeta. However, G Wizard does get the confirmation going. Opts for the setup instead of the damage, and it might have been the right call. Not punishable there, but he does manage to connect with the crouching medium kick. G was closes up the round. Pretty sure that uh, standing fierce punch is punishable. You just have to be ready for it. Or that forward fierce punch, rather. Armored north from, uh, from Birdie. Here we go, G-Wizard opting to stay in front there. Dash forward a little bit too too late to get the cross under. Here comes the corner pressure from G-Wizard. Excellent shimmy, just barely out of the range of that throw, uh, out of that grab, and does it oh, again. Oh, another one. Gets the stun. And is this gonna be enough to kill? I think this is gonna be enough to kill. Yep. G-Wizard takes it right back. Hey, was that one convincing? Yeah, yeah, it was convincing. Those double shamings were, were certainly a spectacle to behold. See if you can do it again.
Ooh, wrong anti here for the wrong jump in. Say to say to just like that manages to get G Wizard into the corner. He needs to figure something out in order to get himself out. Getting stunned is not the correct option. Oh, again, Zeta Zeta, out of range of that command grab. He actually timed it properly that time. Still managed to get the round. Ooh, oh, the free boy. Willy. Stupid, ain't ya? That is certainly <laughs> a stupid move. That EX free Willy doesn't push you on tilt, nothing will. G-Wizard manages to get the dash away after the, uh, the setup after the EX, um... Wow, double over uh, Oh, no, here's the EX command grab, not gonna... Oh, yeah, that is gonna kill. Yeah, it's done. You lose. I think it was pretty convincing. Yeah, if you ever want to tilt your opponent, just open up with the EX free Willy. That, that'll do it 100% of the time. Pretty much. All right, next up we got Hunter X Ninja and the real seal in winner's finals. First to three. All right, let's go ahead and send these two invites. While I change the victory settings. I will say one thing. If you ever want to read something really entertaining, just watch, just watch Seal talk about rank. I've watched him talk about it. It's when good. When Seal talks about rank, it is so funny. Like, he commentates his matches, like, live tweeting them on Discord. It's great. Real Seal says, time to get parried to death. Yeah, actually, no. I can, I can see that being a thing that happens. We're going to see a lot of EX uh, flying Barcelona attack into parry, 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 punish. Here's the real question. Is he gonna use a different color? Who? Hunter X Ninja? Hell no, he's always boy band Ryu. No. I would, I would be upset with him if he, if he wasn't. As for the real seal, I don't know. He's Vega. <laughs> I think he did bust out the um, the Halloween color earlier, didn't he? Or was that somebody else? Yeah. No, it was him. All right, so yeah. Let's I see remember he, specifically that was him because all, all he did was Barcelona and jump. <laughs> he did use a different color. I like this one because it's green. That's that's about it. I didn't notice the little skull things holding the cape on. It's pretty nice. Mass Nolman saying, "Show him the death of ten thousand stamps this cancels uh, stamp changes per destiny. second." <laughs> Alright, Tuxedo Mask versus Boy versus uh, Justin Timberlake. Let's see how this goes. It's gonna be May. Exactly. Hunter X Ninja, known as options, immediately pushing uh, Real Seal into the corner. He managed to get that clutch sweep out of the corner yet again. Oh, trying to go through that projectile doesn't quite get the timing correctly. Here's the flying Barcelona attack. Oh no! Gets thrown out of his parry animation. I didn't know it was a thing that could happen. Oh, it looks like he's wow. trying to confirm to that rose. Doesn't quite get it, however. All these stats came. Again! He knows that Hunter X Ninja is going for the parry for that flying Barcelona attack, so he's trying to figure out something to do around it. Trying to go for that Izum drop, it looks like. Speaking oh, nice. of which, Real Seal uses that Izum drop to his advantage to, to, to close out that round. round two. Fight. Hunter Snitch is starting it with a very convincing confirm, working on a stun already, and here it is. Are we gonna see a perfect? Maybe not, but if Hunter X Ninja manages to get another confirmation here, it's looking very tough for- Whoa! What was that Yomi parry that he was going for something there? 
He read button. He read DP or something. I guess the character with no DP. Ninja oh, managed wow. to knock Vega into the turbine and Fine. kill him. <laughs> Dead. D E D. What we're seeing now is Vega's clone. Good anti air jab, Hunter X Ninja, and into a confirmation and a super. Real seal immediately sitting on Huffman's health. I like the dash up into jabs. Whoa, alright. Hunter X Ninja anti air jabbing and still getting the cross under, even in that weird, ambiguous situation. Here we go, didn't parry that time. Real Seal managed to train Hunter X Ninja perfectly to stop going for the parry, even though I think he still did. I think it was a little he bit still late. Went for it. Just yeah. There's just a little bit of hesitation there. Oh boy. I've never seen. They just entered the room. Alright. Alright, Hunter's Ninja closes out that match with an overhead. Ryu wins. Hunter's Ninja is very good at going nuts on his offense, just doing a whole lot of stuff like too quick to react to. You see a lot of like crouching medium kicks and a confirmations and a lot of dash ups and a jabs. I'd say that Hunter's Ninja plays is playing Ryu more like Vega than Real Seal. Round one. Fight. Ooh, very clearly buffering that DP and getting the anti-air with it. There we go, Real Seal managed to V-skill through that projectile that time around. Whoa, that was a very interesting interaction there. I think I figured out what my favorite part of the Halloween costume was. What's that? Uh, I think it's just the boots. The boots make the entire time. We're seeing a lot of that uh, sweep into Rose to make it safe. Very smart stuff at a real seal. Knowing when to take his, uh, when to take his chances. Wow, that was... Again, that forward dash, back dash, shimmy into a crush counter. Very smart. I don't play Ryu. If I did, I would steal that. Yeah, that's the classic Ryu shimmy. It's very actually difficult to... Uh, it's rare for characters to have very powerful shimmies off of their back dashes, and Ryu's one of the best players doing that. Wow, it's facing the back <clears throat> Good BD forward heavy kick. Out of Hunter. Again! And here we go, yes. Real Steel confirming off of that flying Barcelona attack and a big damage. Eating the wake of DP, however. No matter how many shenanigans you have, they lose 2 DP. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Again, Yet again, wow. confirming off of that. Oh, just a little bit too far. That's tragic. To get the full damage there. That might have killed. We're in this situation. Ninja pressing his advantage all, here. All Ryu need, needed was one hit. That slide was really ballsy. Yeah. I think Real Seal thought that he had enough life to uh, pay for it in case he got punished. I don't think he actually did it though. I think it's possible that Hunter's just playing a mind game where he's like, you know what, I'm gonna eat all these Barcelona. I honestly think he's legitimately trying to parry it, but he's just a little bit too hesitant there from all the times that he got thrown. Yeah, we see it again there. But Real Steel knows when to fake the uh, the Barcelona attack and just sort of bait that parry. End up with a neutral situation. Whoa, no crush counter punish off of that DP. However, he does get a jump in. He does manage to take the mesh. Vega wins. <laughs> Seal not a fan of doing things the easy way. Round one. Fight. You'll see right away mounting an offense. Stance cha changing out of that claw. Oh boy. He's still getting a lot of hits and trying to confirm out of them. However, spacing is just a little bit off. The Vega with not Hunter X Ninja. Not afraid of DP. You know what he does it at the right situations too. 
I mean, from what Ooh, from what I hear of how Steel explains his own play, I wouldn't be afraid to DP either. Steel's self-described plan is walk up hit button. Whoa, the jump back reaction on that uh, that release of that dent fireball was very very on point. Normally trying to jump back that fireball is how you eat it to the face. Hunter X Ninja. Building meter with full meter. Getting that win. I thought you learned that uh, for you players are creatures you have it. I do the same thing. I'm stunned. Doesn't matter if I have full meter. I'll still sit there and uh, wait for the like, Luigi Kyakus. Oh, again, you see the parry animation starting, however, managing to connect during that two frame startup. Oh, he missed the, the ender. Gonna oh, here we go. Real steel with the stun. Yeah. Not gonna be enough to kill, but this is gonna be enough to. Okay. Let's go for the American was... reset into that throw. Yeah. The intentional American reset, the rarest kind of American reset. Ooh, okay. A lot of dancing back and forth between these two characters. There's the Azuna drop to close out the round. My final round. Fight. I don't always feel like. Oh, the Yo sweeps! Once again, punishing that DP with the jump and medium cake. It always feels like Vega's like the only character with normal size feet. Is he? Everybody always has like massively oversized appendages. He looks, he looks like he has the most bad speed, but Oh, there's the stun for Hunter X Ninja. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be enough to kill. This is done. Yeah, that's it. This is Vega just sitting on the throne of plasma. Wait, that's supposed to be first to three, right? Yeah. This is first to three. Yeah. Oh, who just advanced him? Goalie. <laughs> My bad. Round one. No one saw that. Fight. Except for Jew is. Yeah, also, like I said earlier, if you're paying attention to uh, If you're paying attention to NA net play, Steel is more or less live tweeting this match. Is that what he's doing? He just has one hand playing and the other hand on Twitter, just live tweeting. Getting wrecked well, by this boy band Ryu, lol. <laughs> I can oh, again, with the thing. intentional American reset, he could have confirmed after that, but instead he opted to go for the jump for some reason. Nah, he was too far away. He could have confirmed. Oh, okay, so we confirmed that he was too far away to continue off that combo. Just fake oh, yeah. it, thanks. The, the standing strong with the bleach. Ooh, Hunter X Ninja, ready for the shimmy. Real Seal not whipping a throw, but still eating, like, like just still succumbing to the shimmy. <laughs> Here we go, dash up throw. Take off my claw, dash up throw, let's do this. Confirm. Whoa, back dash is Hunter X Ninja not afraid to just chase him down. Once again, Real Seal not going for the Azuna drop, instead of just sort of whipping that flying Barcelona attack on hit. And here comes the corner pressure out of Real Seal doing so much stuff. However, Hunter X Ninja is showing that blocking is very, very powerful in this game. <laughs> As it is in every game. <laughs> Except Mortal Kombat. How, how many you times has Hunter X Ninja been eat, like uh, taking that flying Barcelona attack to the face? Before this match, Real Seal has said, I am ready to get parried, like, non-stop. And I don't think we've seen a single effective parry out of Hunter X Ninja. All those flying Barcelona attacks. Apparently, it's not as easy as it looks. It actually is. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's totally as easy as it looks. Fuck you, you diamond for you. It's I mean, I've done it. It's not that hard. It's just reading when he's gonna do the throw. But Hunter just tries to parry every time, so it should be an issue. Here we go. We have a punish on a sweep, ladies and gentlemen. And there's the super. And lots of damage. Hunter X Ninja already working on a perfect, actually. Ooh. I was about to say he was gonna eat that Barcelona, but he got smart. Here we go. We just gonna put some damage on the board, and that's the confidence booster he needs to work his comeback. Oh, stuffing that fireball, that was smart. Ah, oh. we're still going for everything except the command grab option. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, very nice. Attack through the point blank fireball. And that's the only time that works. This is where you can actually get under it. Oh, it would have worked just then. However, he didn't quite think of it in time and instead got his guard broken and also lost the match. You win. Real Seal saying, why didn't I V-Trigger? Could have done that. <laughs> EX Flybar was unattacked. Could have VX rolled. A lot of things. A lot of things. But it's okay. Hindsight 2020, man. You played well. <laughs> All right. What have we got next? Um, Zeta, Zeta, uh, and Masked Nobleman. Yeah, Zeta, Zeta, and Masked Nobleman. All right. So Hunter... You can leave and here? invite mass. Only Zeta Zeta's in here. I was, I was wondering, wondering if, like, during the first match, all I saw was that notification. Zeta Zeta joined the room, and I was like, what? Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking. I, sh I didn't need to kick him, and I did. <laughs> so good. Out of habit. <laughs> Uh-oh, my Spotify is... broke again. Well. Alright, send the invite to Mass Nobleman 7. I'm just waiting on him. Get in here. There he is. is. Alright, top of the back of the queue. Alright, Zeta Zeta. Mass Nobleman. Wait, why is Hunter still here? You, you just tell me to leave. This goalie doesn't like hitting the kick player button. Wait, what? Why is Seal still here? Well, because he plays next, but Zeta Zeta's telling me he has to go to the store and we need to wait 15 minutes. Oh, All right, well, my God. Bathroom, guys. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to make sure, a sandwich. Right, let's go to a non-existent commercial break. Everybody can just have a beer to, you know, enjoy their lives while we take too long to finish this tournament. <laughs> Everyone's going to hear... I don't know. Have you ever seen our meme thing? Right. Where, um, one of them only ended because... Okay, so when he can finals fell asleep. That was still a great moment. That was hilarious. It's okay, we'll fill the space with our own matches. Well, I'm still making the sandwich, so. Oh. I mean, okay, you can start the match. I just won't be there. I feel really mad, mean DQing somebody at like top four. <laughs> oh, why? It's okay. Just ask if everyone else is okay with it. We'll just play another like first to three. Oh, right. do the do goalie versus salty sales. I'm making a sandwich. He's making a sandwich. Okay, yeah, fine. Who plays who then? It would take me 15 minutes to make a sandwich. It's not going to take you 15 minutes to make a sandwich. I'm going to turn off the TV. Uh... If people request it, I will drop making the sandwich right now to go fight Gloria. Okay, <laughs> let's do it then. <laughs> Not dogs, but we need more requests than just you. Hey, you guys wanna you guys wanna wait fifteen minutes without anything happening? Or you wanna watch goalie fight salty sales? Right, so what's the executive decision here? Are we actually gonna wait fifteen minutes for Zeta to go to the store and buy his uh, condoms? Buy his condoms. We can buy his condoms so we can fuck Max. <laughs> exactly. So we can fuck Real Seal and uh, have it be safe. I mean. Now, what's right I, I guess. for waiting on somebody to, to, to play their match? I feel like 10 minutes is the cutoff. Right, and he wants 15. I mean, uh, we could just play and wait and fill the gap. Right. I, I mean, Hunter's not really answering me. So, like, if Hunter can get in the Discord, uh, Seal, Mass, if you guys are okay waiting, we'll wait. If you guys want to move forward with this, then uh, we're going to have to DQ Zeta Zeta. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll leave it up to the Lulled players to decide. Pretty snack run. <laughs> oh, dude, if this shit happened to the BID tournament, I would just qualify him in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, but, well... You want to go get yeah, a banana? I probably would, too. But... Too easy on like the players, man. If this were to happen in the real season, and not the beta season, mm-hmm. it would Gone. be too. Yeah. Right. Oh, so we yeah. would've, been, would've been banned from the Discord. Right. <laughs> Oh, so man. we're just counting this as a, as a bug slash uh, feature of the beta season. Hey, right. you can leave. You can leave in the middle of your top eight matches. Yeah, guys, I'm actually gonna go hit a strip club. Uh, can you wait uh, an hour? Or two minutes? hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is like the only thing that was worse than when uh, Nick raise that big ass stink over being like knocked into losers because he didn't follow any of the tourney rules. Oh, that was a pretty big stink. Yeah. This reminds he me was, of um. He got really mad, and I was like, "Dude, you didn't follow the rules. What do you expect?" This reminds me of I don't know if it was Evo, but it was some kind of a, a major where somebody accidentally hit the pause button on their stick in the middle of a match. Oh, that's emoji. So the tournament organizers yeah, were emoji. like. The tournament organizers were like, well, what do you guys think? Do you want to play it out, or do you want to do stuff? And it was like, the players were in such a difficult position, because it's like, well, if I take the match, then all of a sudden I look like a scumbag. The bad guy, But, like, yeah. at the same time, like, I want to take the match. Like, that's the rules. And so, like, the consensus was there that, like, you know, the tournament organizers have to be a little bit, like, stricter on the players. Like, if you... You have to make the call for them so they don't look like the bad guy, unless they want to. I mean, as a TO, you're going to catch heat eventually. So you might as well just do it. It's, oh, yeah, as a TO, it's your job to get people mad at you so that the players still have like a healthy working environment. Right. I mean, I caught a lot of heat for the whole Nick thing, but it cooled down unless, after a while. Unless your name is Wolf Crone, then everyone just hates you by default. Well, oh, Wolf Crone's an asshole. Well, Wolf Crone yeah. uh... <laughs> Wolf Wolf makes me feel terrible for being in Detroit. Oh man. Is he from Detroit? Detroit? Wait, yeah, he's from Detroit. People are from Detroit? People are from <laughs> Detroit. Wow. Detroit exists? <laughs> I, I thought it got like wiped off the war, off the world, off the face of the war. earth. Like the great, the great Detroit the, War? We lost During the, the great Detroit, Detroit war. war of 2000. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Detroit I ended that, with Y2K. <laughs> oh, there was that one play, time. There was that one day I fought a dude in rank and his name was Detroit Guy, like 555 or something stupid. And after I I beat him 2-0, and the next thing I did was sent goalie and that's says, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> he beat someone from Detroit, and I'm like, I don't care, beat him beat him even harder. <laughs> Is we Mass Nolan versus the real seal? Are we gonna get to see a taste of the Vega team? <laughs> oh, Apparently no. not. Nope. So I told these guys they could run sets. One that's gonna play a ground game. I'll play. I'll play the. I'll play the real seal. With I'll my play machine. the real seal. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, this is real. Vega Mirror. Woo. I guess I'm gonna change the name of the matches to just. Now, do I Vega Mirror, or should I play someone else? No, you should play Rashid. Vega Mirror. Play Rashid. Rashid. Play Rashid. I don't even know how to play Rashid. No, play thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to play Zangief either. <laughs> play Cammy. Cammy's pretty cool. Basically, Zangief, you play Fussies until you win. That's it. Oh, well, that's it? That's pretty easy. Go ahead. Just play, uh, just play Geef. Yeah, man, why doesn't everybody pick Geef? Just play Wait, Fussies. Okay, that sounds like Street Fighter fun, to be honest. That's what I say to everybody in the beginner's discord, and they come in like, how do I get better, better at this game? Oh, it's easy, all I gotta do is play footsies, man. It's, uh, yeah. It's just as easy as that. What, what footsies exist in Street Fighter V? That's news to me. <laughs> Let's go, goalie. This is like this is like the skin pendulum versus Mass Nolman match. Oh no, but don't worry. you're not playing Vega. Oh, never mind. Here we go. No, I'm not. Yeah. I, don't have an, I don't have an underdog to root for. I'm sure you do with goalie. Uh, goalie's going to be free. Free. Free and Vega, the 11. Did you just see all the buttons? You see all these claw switches? I feel like that's actually Urian's job. These buttons are actually just as good as Vega's. 
Oh, that didn't come out. And then target combo into an overhead. Oh, really? That didn't work. That, oh. uh, that's marble, point blank. What is that on hit? Look, it only feels like it's like negative. A plus one. It's negative on hit? Yeah. No. Alright, somehow we lose block. What? Oh, see, I wanted back heavy to come out. I thought I was out of range. Oh well. Round <sighs> two. Okay, now I actually understand Cedo's game plan of walk forward hit button. Ooh, dashing into that mini piggy pick. Why did that not come out? Oh, why did my. Where did my. PX headbutt. That's got so much startup that sometimes I'll bait it and still get hit by it. Full rundown of what Zeta Zeta bought at the store when he gets back. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was gonna cross over. That shit better be a medicine for your dying grandmother. Right. <laughs> Get him to take a picture. Yeah, we need a picture. I want to see at least one banana and one can of some sort of beverage. And a donut. And a donut, yeah. If none of these items are any of those three things, he's DQ'd. And, uh, it's like a, it's like a can and, uh, of frappuccino, a uh, box of tissues, lotion. Six lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Fight. Just out of range. all six, 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 six. I don't even get sand. I was watching the Discord that whole match, and like nothing was happening. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I was I just watching. I not moving chat. <laughs> I'm like, maybe he'll come back early. I guess that's the life of a mod. Is this really first to three? I, I love, I love how much you just yeah. let him claw switch. Yeah. I don't even care really. I'm just. It's not. Uh, I'm not near it. I know, I'm just not pressing buttons. His I don't know what buttons really press. just like, standing medium punch claw switch, standing medium punch claw switch, over and over again. It's an infinite. The funny thing is that, yeah, just, like, that used to exist. Dude, he plays like such, you No, know, he just FBA'd point blank. In your face. Disrespect. That's how you get banned from the Discord. Yeah. You just <laughs> Oh, nice. I hit crouching yeah, I medium punch there and so nothing came out. Angus, that was like one. That one. <laughs> I kind of gave me a Vega a mirror so he could look at him. What? You gave Vega a mirror so he could look at himself. Yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. I really, wanna, I really wish that the rose like reflected back and he just like Round slashed one. himself a few times. Wow. I, I wish it reflected the Nadeshko. So do I. I think that was the one thing everyone wanted, but they knew they wouldn't get. I wish I wish if uh, if she did like the overhead Nadeshko, she just bounced back up into the air. <laughs> <laughs> Make it Nadeshko go to space. <laughs> Wow, this is being played to like one of the most emotional songs on my Spotify. What the fuck is this? In the arms of the angel. No, I don't have that oh garbage on here. <laughs> Donate meter. Let our <laughs> music only take a round. <laughs> they recorded the recorded version of that Celine Dion song. Oh, uh, my heart would go on. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, you went for something though. I went for stand heavy kick. I wasn't going for a charge stand heavy kick, I just wanted to tap it and it still didn't work, so I was like, alright. Alright, okay. if Zeta Zeta's not back after this, I'll fight you, Joey. Oh, I feel, feel stood still so he could live speed his match. Oh my god. These claw switches. I'm mashing jab and nothing's coming out, so I don't understand how that's not real. <laughs> but I'm not mashing crouch jab just to see what comes out and nothing's coming out. Well. If it hits you, it's real. 
if it doesn't hit you, it's not real. What, what do you mean if it hits me? Uh, if you don't block it, it's real. If I don't block the button before it? Yeah. Oh, well, no shit. <laughs> like, what What can I do if he's ta constantly tapping me and doing it? Then it's real and I can't do nothing. Alright, goalie, fight oh. me now. Yay. Goalie versus Salty Sails. Nah, I should just see Seal, just body Sails. Oh, I would have played Seal. No, Sail. No, Seal, go away. <laughs> Fine. Go away. Why? Oh, and there's just no press anything. Seal's like, no, nah, I'm gonna avenge him. Seal's like, fuck you guys, I need to warm up. Right? I don't yeah. care about your petty little whatever. <laughs> that Brady just bought some condoms for a reason. Because <laughs> you're next. NB. Lead underscore sales. Oh, Mass Nobleman doesn't care because he's eating dinner. <laughs> nom, so nom. apparently we need a dinner break in the middle of these tournaments. Yes, I think that's very important. Have a have like a two hour intermission for all the players to go out, get some food, cook some dinner, eat it. Do do a social eating stream while you eat it too. Oh my god! And then come back. Yeah, let me just go start boiling some. Fun. Wait, can we DQ Zeta Zeta if he doesn't buy things we like? <laughs> doesn't buy things that we like. <laughs> yeah, I want to see. I want to see a bag of Cheetos. I want to see an Arizona iced tea. Ooh, that, that's I want to. I want to see a <laughs> cup of pop ramen. <laughs> this is this grocery list is <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> if, if he manages to hit anything on our scavengers list, then he's still in the tournament. Otherwise, get that ass banned. <laughs> if he comes back. These are like, the bounties to keep him in the tournament. <laughs> if he comes back with like Smarties, I'm gonna be pretty. Oh my god, double claw switch combo. Oh, don't worry, those claw switches aren't real. They aren't real. This is all a dream. This is all a dream, yeah. I'm gonna let you guys play. You're gonna, you're gonna let you guys finish this match. If they say it's not back, then he just wins the tournament and just by everyone else. Oh, right. oh, yeah, that's how it goes. The new strat is to enter in and then just leave. Whoever's gone the longest wins. It's pure patience to see if they beat. Just broke okay, the poor back. man's back. Oh, Zeta Zeta's Zeta back. Oh my god! All I'm right. so close! Go ahead and hit the uh, end match. Go ahead and get the show on the road. I got so close to the winning. Alright, so we get Mass Nobleman and Zeta Zeta back in there. <laughs> I mean, oh, we're going first to three, I mean, whatever. I don't, I don't think we should play out a full first We gotta three. see what he bought first! <laughs> he bought food for his kids. Starving children. Yeah, kids. Birdie doesn't feed children, he only feeds himself. <laughs> yeah. Feed children. Right. Wait, why is his name blue? And not like, like shit brown. Hey, why is his name blue? Mika? Uh, no. no, 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 no. Balrog. Balrog. Because he does play Balrog. Balrog. Alright, right, so you'll go to the back. Yeah, it's masked. Mass Noble Mans. Whose mans is this? Um, losers. Semi. Is. <sighs> I need to trick first. I'm mad thirsty. Alright, man. 
Oh well, I'm just happy I didn't let Seal beat me up for free. Why is goalie part of the Barcelona bro? Are you the coach? Goalie's the coach. Yeah. What is yeah, I'm gonna be the new coach. Right Wait, what's going on, Seal? Not Seal. Just kick him. Seal, <laughs> Seal you, you messed up everything. Just kick him. Oh my god! Just, Did you really let him do that? DQ Seal. <laughs> We're DQing <laughs> Seal. <laughs> <sighs> He's like, oh, I'm up. What? <laughs> he even knew that it was a mass turn to play. <laughs> why? Why did we keep him in the lobby? Too easy, man. You just gotta, you gotta employ that kick button. Okay. <laughs> the birdie has some huge earrings too. Yeah, he's got yeah. those gauges. Pretty's weird. Round one. Fight. It was funny, like a few days a few days ago I was at the library and I saw a, uh, I saw an alpha, Street Fighter Alpha manga there. Go if you kick seal it'll just end his match right away. And Birdie was there and he was buff. It was really awkward, man. Buff Birdie. Yeah, that character. Not even the same. By making him fat. Oh, looks like he just left the game. <laughs> he, he rage quit. Just <sighs> Filthy rage I kicked him to make it faster. <laughs> yeah, that's that's oh, you can kick him really? while they're playing? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Savage. Oh, yeah, that's how you get in the match. Alright, now Hunter and Sinjin needs to hop to the back. Or you can just press start and waste of time. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this rod is now like 30 minutes longer. Excellent. <laughs> Everybody loves editing that no. stuff. Excellent. Note for the not beta season. Nice way for beta in the title. That beta season option what. select. <laughs> yeah, me and Goldie were talking about this earlier. That's why he goes 0 and 2, supposedly. <laughs> That's why he's getting 0 and 2. The, this tourney doesn't matter, OS. <laughs> I don't play this game, OS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I play KOF. Uh, I play Mafia I play, 3. Yes, oh. I play Tekken, but like I'm out of a game until like February. So we're playing an actual match finally. Oh my goodness, this counts for the tournament. Zeta Zeta versus Mass Goldman 7. Zeta Zeta starting out the match with that can of whatever that he bought from the store. The Mountain Dew. Well, can of Mountain Dew. Starbucks Frappuccino. It's about the right size for that can actually. Right color too. That's Nolman 7. I like to believe that he's kind a Kami of fan and he's he's spray. Spray. <laughs> Ooh, I like the, the forward grab you punch. Yeah, at point blank range into rows. I mean, to make it safe, but you could have made it safe by just not pressing that button at that range. <laughs> but the white light mount. It's all about the white light. White light matters. Here we go. Gets the confirmation, but then drops it right away. And now... Zeta Zeta has got him in the corner. However, Master Woman with a clutch back throw manages to work his way out of that situation. And here is the Izuna drop oh, to close out nice. full round. Dash up command grab. Very strong stuff from Vegas. What do you think Vegas' legs are made out of that he could just jump that high while holding Birdie? Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again, spacing himself perfectly to get that uh, that anti air roundhouse. Ooh, not an optimal punish on that slide, but hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. Later. Ooh, Ooh. Mass, trying to get the mass solid life feed. Again, on point with those anti air standing. Wow. Oh, freeze case. How does he slurp down that door? It's years of practice. I don't know if you ever try to eat a donut fast. That shit will mess up your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> he makes like a distinct slurping sound. It's amazing. He just, turns it into liquid went, and drinks it yeah, down. Whoa. Say, it into the liquid. I don't know what he woke up with, but it lost a grab, that's for damn sure. Matt, Birdie is like the spider. He there just looks like his food. Is Real this game ruined yet? By this, the topic of Birdie? 
Oh, the stream the stream's uh, been really for a while, yeah, man. Let's just be really honest. Really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ever since Zeta Zeta went to the store. Ruined. Ooh, no standing heavy kick into air from that snowman that time around. Or when uh, Hunter stopped landing parries, the stream was ruined. Lots of good crouching light punch pressure there. Not falling for that can grab setup. Oh, <laughs> oh here we go. The anti airs from Zeta Zeta. Finally polished, polished those off and remembered that he had them after uh, distracting himself by going to the store for 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Another command grab out of Master Holman. Goes for another dash of grab. Doesn't quite get it. Here we go, the corner pressure from Zeta Zeta. Jumps in with that medium kick. Not sure what the application of that button is, but he seems to know something that we don't. Wow. Snowman just what if, managed to get Instead of going to the store, he actually just sat on his computer and watched Mass Mobile and replays for like two minutes. Oh my gosh. He's lying about having kids. He's lying about them being <laughs> star. Yeah, I think a birdie player can get kids. <laughs> Not children you know, in his belly. Like, don't tell that to Tyson. <laughs> Yet again with the anti air standing heavy kick. Doesn't get the crush counter, however. He's a little bit too late for that. Good option with the EX flying bar on attack to get right over that can and with punish. Ooh, the slide into Rose to make himself safe. However, now he's in the corner taking huge damage. Is there going to be some kind of wake up shenanigans? The crush and light kick confirmation. Ooh. That's going to be. Zeta Zeta. Alright, Master Thelma's so got the hot dog on his head. Let's see if he can be an Oscar Mayer wiener today. So, uh, oh, oh man, I was about to wiener. say, it's, it's the rule that if he wins with, with the wiener, he just wins the turn. Out yeah, if he, if he takes the comeback perfect with no throws, that's just... I feel like that's a bounty for all the points. Oh, not sure what you were going for with that free willy, expecting the quick rise, but it doesn't quite happen. And just to dodge that uh, really embarrassing situation. Here we go, the anti air is oh, negative data. Much easier to just hit that anti air button than just to carry your DP. Oh wow. Ninja Zeta was ready for that. You just got cut up by the birdie hair. Holding on to that fierce punch button and letting it go on wake up. Bracer is clipping to the donut. Oh my god, I never noticed. Round one. Fight. And then again, that with that wind pose is stupid enough that you can just ride it off. <laughs> oh, a neutral chain. Yeah, it's not gonna work against Vega. A lot of ways to punish that. Birdie always manages to keep oh like. My goodness, just so oh my god. Birdie always manages to keep fairly empty cans of some drink with him at all times. Either that or he's very, very good at chugging. <laughs> I don't know. If you it's the match of them having a utility way. belt. How does he like, siphon out all the liquid <laughs> so quickly? <laughs> Here's a practice. Hitters. If you listen to the sound it makes when it hits the ground, you can uh, you could like assume the can is like half full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't roll like that if it didn't have some liquid in it. That's true. <laughs> Man, the carry. It certainly wouldn't knock someone down if it was empty. <laughs> the Kentucky yeah, Estate is really pay is really doing well for him. Able to just <laughs> barely drink a can of soda and throw it out. And just throw it away. That's all I'm gonna do is putting out some quarter pressure here. Birdie player is the number one source of pollution. And by putting on corner pressure, I mean walking away and letting Birdie just slowly, like, dance his way out of that corner. Do you see how many buttons Zeta Zeta is pressing right now? <laughs> yeah, he's just pressing everything he has. He's playing like the AI Birdie on level 8. <laughs> is that Ooh, true? Well placed command grab. He just presses all of his buttons. I imagine, I imagine level 8 AI Birdie is just the most amazing at doing crouching caps. Yeah, it actually <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, I played against level 8 Fang for like two hours just to see what he could do. Ooh, had an opportunity to conf uh, confirm out of Rosewood, I think EX Barcelona, but he didn't just get it. Doesn't matter, does it anyways, it still works. 
Does Level 8 Fang do any like sweet mix ups? <laughs> no. No. Level 8 no. Fang looks like a nut and it's still hard to play against. <laughs> yeah. It does like the most random button. I, I only like play against Ken. And that's pretty cancerous, but. Why? <laughs> he does Ken stuff. Round 1. Plays like Ada. Oh, I thought you, <laughs> I thought you said you only play against Cammy. And I was oh, like, of no. course. Cammy actually has one of the best uh, AIs. No, it doesn't stop doing pool again. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I assume one of like the best AIs move. is Bison because Bison is like the bane of survival mode. Ooh, Mass Nobleman hitting that medium kick button a little bit too early on his way down. Doesn't quite get that jump in combo. Still going for it though. Gets another confirmation, but instead just dashes up and throws. Doesn't trust his own ability to confirm the combos. And here we go. There's the stun and the kill. And now we're just one round away. Wow, I like that, I like that freeze. Oh, this is a nice point for. for yeah. this is, okay. Loses bracket point. Looks like the snacks there. were not enough. To say this, Ada. <laughs> snacks were not enough. If you're gonna get you mean the down mode. Place. You mean the down mode from watching? <laughs> <the replay. laughs> yeah. He had like he has like four monitors watching four different matches at the same all, time. All of them for Max Nolan. <laughs> he actually he actually does have kids. They're just helping him do the research. They're still starving. <laughs> they're they're writing down frame data. <laughs> Well, he looks at this frame trap after he gets this knockdown. Again! Mess Nobleman just getting that flying Barcelona attack every single time. It's you an said, okay, I again, noticed but that like, one. That one worked finish. because he was right in front of the hitbox for the end here. Wow. But it didn't hit him. That's some new tech. with that flying Barcelona attack. I've got to, I've got to go to training mode and figure out something about that. Because... Oh, it's it's a real pain to practice against flying Barcelona attack because of all the variations and how much you can move with it. All right, let's take a look at what is next on our bracket. I think we've got uh, S Nobleman versus still not as oh we got a as oh, much of a Vega mirror. All right, let's do this. Still not as much of a pain as fucking dealing with Hooligan. This is uh, also a run bag. You just is like, not bad. You have like eight options out of it. What have, are you talking we about? We have three. We have slide, throw, or or dive kick, and and if you just if you just uh, crouch block, you beat all of them. All right, real seals in here. Let's hop to the back. We'll let him have his Vega mirror we run back. So who won the first time. match? Uh, seal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to believe. Almost. No offense to seal. It's just. But he's still to seal. He so sucks. Solid. To me, right? <laughs> I mean, he plays goofy as hell. He does. Like it, I always didn't want to believe how goofy he was. <laughs> this entire match will be FBA slides and grabs. That's it. Yeah. Hey, I mean, give these guys some credit. They know how to slide into rows, so we're gonna be seeing that as well. God, I'm actually getting sick of hearing Kyo! <laughs> whenever I hear flying Barcelona attack. Kyo! We'll just wait till the team tournament when these guys yeah. one shot at everybody. Watch out! Oh, wait, that's Fei Long. Chicken wing. <laughs> Chicken. I miss Fei Long. We need to put him in this game. EMP put Fei Long as G35. What is the EMP? I see that in Twitch a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna troll you and be like, no, no, it's just, it's just me. It doesn't have any meaning. I see like EMP Cami X Rashid, best couple. I'm like, I don't. Know. <laughs> Round one. Wow, these guys have the same title, Bloody Bolero, instead of Math Nolan. I guess that's the equivalent to Twitter. Oh my God, Seal, Seal went Super Saiyan and took off the coat. I'm so proud. Yeah, we get to see that blouse now. All right, yeah, we're gonna see a lot of FBAs this time around. A lot of flying bars, one attacks. I want to see two FBAs at the same time and watch them collide. <laughs> that nobody won. Yeah, nobody what what wins? The Azuna drop or the 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 normal like claw attack? No, he want, he says he wants to see them collide today. <laughs> yeah. They, they just go. They just I want to see the flying Barcelona Azuna drop throw attack. That's all. I want to see. <laughs> 
Oh Whoa, God. the double rows. What of those was the correct oh thing to do? God. That one was just random. I don't know. No, no, that's how you beat it with Vega. Is rose the, rose is, the rose is the only projectile that trades with itself. And it itself exclusively. That was sick. God, alright, Mass Nobleman takes that round by the skin of his beauty. So could I, I can only assume that Mass was trying to trade the rose. Ooh, good sweep to get himself in. Real seal, putting on an offense, and Mass Nobleman knowing what that offense consists of, and managed to call out those frame, uh, those gaps, that standing leg kick, three frames. Once again, Mass Nobleman going. For, I mean, uh, Real seal going for that uh, that flying Barcelona attack instead of the Azuna drop. I mean, I guess it's because it's more advantageous or something on the knockdown. Just trying to get some kind of a setup afterwards. And here we go. Mass Nobleman goes for the damage option with the Azuna grab. And as you can see, he don't he isn't able to work his way in for immediate afterwards. So that might be the difference between these two players. Whoa! Antiers with something, and I, I don't know what it was, but it worked. But that was stand heavy kick. kick. Wow! That neutral jump light kick. This is such an interesting match. We're gonna see a rose. Somebody's gonna rose. Somebody's going to rose. The question is how and when. It's gonna be a sweep into a rose by one of these characters. There it is. And now we're gonna see the mirror. Yep. Oh, okay, and just go for the flying Barcelona attack. Oh my god, did he taunt? He taunted! No, he tried to V skill and dodge the uh, grab. Or the uh, claw. I know what this taunt animation is. He taunted it. Just try to get under that jump in, however, they didn't quite get him anything. You'll see working his way in with that flying Barcelona attack. Doesn't have any meter left, however, to do it again. That's all been sitting on almost full bar. Once it gets that rose, never mind. We're just gonna spend it all on flying Barcelona attacks all day. That's how we do. <laughs> That's how you play Vegas. Yep, and there it is yet again. Flying Barcelona attack into a Zuna drop. Damage option. Is the dash is up? He dashes up and then does a standing roundhouse right in his face and it manages to connect. Again. Once you have a Vega Mirror, you know how to call out your opponent on those, uh... Oh my god, the Rose back that. Knocks off the Mask. Mask Nobleman, 7, managing to take the match. Vega. That was only game 1. Oh, man. Which one of these Vegas deserves to uh, fight boy band Ryu in Grand Finals? <laughs> I'm honestly rooting for Real Seal just because of the fact that he's a more interesting costume. Round one. Fight. I would say. Cyan. Yeah, I don't jacket. like that color. <laughs> I like that he put the jacket back on. I like how bright it is. The cyan and orange. I do like that that's like the only costume that looks completely different without the jacket. There you go, Mass Nobleman managed to get that V-Trigger before he gets half health. The rose is his way right out of the corner. He is probably gonna get the Rose again, however, because he used it so early. Mass Nolman now clawless, however, it's not gonna matter when you're this close. There we go, Real Seal managing to sweep into Rose's way back out. However, abuses that sweep just a little bit too much there and ends up paying for it. Oh, and now we oh, have the nice. Dome, beating the throw attack. Taking a round over Real Seal. Round two. Uh, starting the round with Sweep. The class thing. You see sitting on full meter here. And now he's got V Trigger as well. Uh, however, we haven't been seeing a lot of Rose into um, Super Confirmations by either of these players. They've both been saving that Rose to make that Sweep safe. And they've certainly been saving their meter exclusively for EX uh, flying bar attacks. Yeah. And I mean, for as much as they're working, you think that they're way better than they actually are. I, I don't know, know which game, video. which game the mirror is more goofy in. Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 4 was pretty goofy. Can Steel make a comeback? All Mass Nova needs is literally one touch. However, he might not get the chance here. There it is, that standing oh, light kick. Is. I know my frame data, and I can do this. 
Vega wins. <laughs> Round one. Fight. All right, Fast Nolan and two wins under his belt. Is he going to be able to get the opportunity to face off against Boy Band Ryu? Very nutty neutral game between these two. Every now and again, you'll see them like dancing around and flying bars, flood attacking everywhere, and then every now and again, they're both just down back for a long period of time. Pretending this is a Balrog mirror. Whoa! Presses the attack button way too close to the ground and only gets the two hits. This uh, technically is a Balrog mirror. Yo, oh, oh, Japanese okay. names. <laughs> Here we go. Now we've got more than nuttiness going on with flying bars on attacks. Makes it look over. Round two. Fight. I am still been on a loser's direct point here. Uh, let's do is take this win and then go to grand finals. Oh, view reversal in the corner. Not a great option for Vega, but uh, Real Seal doesn't quite call it out. There it is. A lot of Vegas tend to do that sometimes, just view reversal in the corner. Whereas it's actually punishable. Oh, again, presses that attack button too early. I mean, too late, rather. Doesn't get the full uh, conversion. All this neutral jumping. That's a crazy thing about this matchup. It's not one of these characters have very amazing anti airs, so everybody just takes this guy. There we go. Mass takes it. There we go, yeah. He took that run back. Vega <laughs> wins. He adapted. He adapted Dude, to the jumpy jump. Uh, now we got Hunter X Ninja, Mass Nobleman, Grand Finals. All right, let's invite Hunter X Ninja. Oh, he's already in here. All no, right, cool. Here. Top of the back then. So for those of you who aren't aware, uh, because of the fact that we have a double edition bracket, not only does Mass Nobleman have to take a first to three set over Hunter X Ninja, he then has to reset the bracket and then take yet another first to three set. So in other words, Mass Nobleman's totally got this. Wow. Oh, uh, wait, no, here we go. Out of top eight, only two players are in top eight for points. And that's Andre X Ninja and Mass Nolman, our grand finals. What? Doesn't Maybe. everyone in top eight get points? Well, they do, but I'm saying people that already can, like, the top eight for the season. Oh, turn. okay. The only two players that are making the seasonal, like if it was tomorrow, are these two players. I think I'll be top eight for points by this. Uh, yeah, you. Yeah, you should. You'll be in top right, eight for points. a lot of neutral dancing around by both of our players to start this match. Again, Hunter X Ninja is showing that he really should have. Uh, well, I mean, he shouldn't have, but I feel like he would have been at home as a Vega player with all the dancing around that he's doing. Utilized Ryu's dashes and mobility. Just stay at the optimal range for pussies there. Here we go, Mass Nolman managed to get something started. Puts Hunter X uh, Ninja in the corner. He needs to be aware, however, that uh, Hunter is not a- Whoa, okay, Mass Nolman puts himself into the corner now. I mean, I, I can respect making the sweep uh, safe, but that might not have been the best option to go for with that positioning. However, he managed to dash his way right back out. Here's the parries that we yeah. weren't seeing earlier. Hunter X Ninja was spending the entire time that Zeta Zeta was going to the store, feeding his children, grinding that out training <laughs> mode. <laughs> what? The, what? Anti air super? No, that was way too early. I feel like that was definitely him trying to go for a DP and accidentally getting that critical art. And I 
actually makes a lot of sense when you consider how Hunter X Ninja has a, has a huge tendency to just buffer that DP in neutral. You'll see him crouching a lot and inching forward. And that's what happens. Ooh, there we go. Base to DP. Ready for it that time around. Goes into the Azuna drop. Big damage. All he needs is one more conversion in order to take this match. And there it is. Over. Final round. Uh, you know Hunter is just really mad that he wasted all of his meter just then, but now he does have a meter advantage, so we can bring this back. Spends a little bit on that EX Fireball, just that he doesn't have full meter to make that same mistake again. Here we go, Hunter X Ninja pushes Mass Nobleman into the corner. I feel like Mass Nobleman, now that he has that V-Trigger stock, he's going to yeah go for that sweep. Now we can cancel it into the Rose. However, he doesn't do it and eats a critical art in the process. There it is. If at first you don't succeed, just do it again and pretend like it worked the first time. Whoa, the air to air oh, flying boy. drop. I like it. Oh, and there we see he was trying to jump in reaction to that, uh, that Denjin fireball, and instead he just ate it. Nolan managed to take a set. Round one. Fight. Whoa. We gotta figure out her. Why did you die there, Blonde? He's a rebel. Wanted to be like Ken. Hunter Ninja throwing those fireballs that uh, have a little bit too long of a range, but it's okay as long as big. Uh, I think it doesn't have that meter to, to get through it. Oh god, Hunter X Ninja just putting on the hurt. That's Nolman's health disappearing before his eyes. He's probably only now realizing that he's had the rose for a while. Matt Nolman going for something with that dash up throw. However, he's not quite able to catch Hunter X Ninja, who's just all over the place in terms of mobility. I like the shimmy again there that uh, he's demonstrated earlier that dash up, dash back on wake up. So effective. However, Matt Nolman does take the bait. Hunter X Ninja looking for any excuse to confirm into that critical art. Whereas Mass Nolman. I actually don't know why he hasn't used the feature go already. There it is. Sweep into V Trigger. The classic. Hunter X Ninja gets that oh confirmation that he's been looking for. Whoa! Manages to Azuna drop the parry yet again, and then is Azuna drop yet again. Let's do it again, oh why not? God. And there it is. He goes for it yet again. Hunter X Ninja says, you know what, screw this, let's just DP. I had the life lead too. Oh. Wins. I still hate this color. <laughs> Round one. Fight. So that that flying is in the drop out of the uh, Barcelona attack, like. I used to think that you needed to be in the air for it to actually connect, but no, I guess you only need to be standing or something. You could always yeah, do it on the ground. It was just a little bit harder. But now that I made it to be easy. Doing it off the ground in previous games was not worth it. Oh, man, a roll. Get punished by Hunter X Ninja. Total sweep, Hunter X Ninja just sort of dancing, doing the spirals. Ooh, the jump back light kick. Does Hunter Spencer know how to do the option select? <laughs> Good anti air oh rose at a mass Nolan. Fortunately, he never has either critical art. <laughs> because of those flying first one attacks. He's probably gonna do it again. It doesn't work off of anti air rose. Oh, okay. It, all, it only works off of neutral rose. The grounded one? Yeah. Round two. Fight. Hunter 
Max Ninja approaching very carefully here. Here we go. Now we have the corner pressure started. Excellent shimmy, the trademark out of Hunter X Ninja. Oh, well, I like how he buries it up between like the, uh, yeah. the walk speed shimmy and the, the back dash shimmy. Ooh, good nice universe. Nice. Right through. Critical art. Working on a stun here, and there it is. Oh, nice. It's gonna be enough to kill. He doesn't have meter, so I don't actually know if he can. No, no. but it'll be close. The hunter went for the shimmy, but he didn't. He wasn't about chasing the meter vessel. I feel like Master Oldman just needs to. There we go. Now he has the meter to close this out if he wants to. Hunter X Ninja. All right. Well, I was about to say Hunter X Ninja can't afford to be throwing up his fireballs all willy-nilly, and that's why he worked his way in. But Vega wins. Mass Nolan managed to take that uh, match, anyways. Round one. Fight. Whoa, okay, Mass Nolan dashes into that fireball to start of the round. Hunter X Ninja is totally looking at Mass Nolman's meter, and when he doesn't have meter, he's throwing fireballs all day, challenging Mass Nolman to do something about it. There we go. Now that Mass Nolman has that one bar, he's going to work his way in and start going offensive. Mass Nolman manages to jump over that hook and get in the read. Hmm, the using it. Yeah, this is, uh, at that distance, it was the most optimal thing you could do. Very really? tough call from S. Nolan there, waking up in front of the, uh, the charging engine in your face. Hunter X Ninja has the option to chip out here, but he shouldn't take it, honestly. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Getting a Zuna dropped to his demise. However, he does start this next round with full meter. Oh, very nice. Like command grab. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Hunter X Ninja close to the stun, but it doesn't phase him from putting on an offense. Oh, very nice. Get confirmed. Mass Nolan, looking very strong right now. Here we go. Doesn't fall from the shimmy yet again. He's eaten that one too many times. Using that rose once again to give him the opportunity to use that slide once safely without having it be a bad decision. There is the EX wall dive that I was just about oh to say. Just, he has the meter for what he's probably going to use. Mass Nolman just reset the bracket. That's the power wow. of Vega where you know he's going to do it, but you don't know when he's going to do it. Oh, God. This is making me a little bit scared of Vegas right now. I thought I knew the answer to that, uh, that EX wall dive, but apparently none of us do. Alright, let's hop to the back of the queue and let oh. Dr. X Ninja get his uh, second match. Alright, so now both of these uh, both of these players have been knocked down to the loser's bracket. So we've got our final first of three set between Mask Nobleman 7 with his Vega and Hunter X and, Ninja with his boy band Ryu. And Seal isn't gonna move, of course. Kick. There we go. Alright. Get this show on the road. Why was Seal still here? I don't know. Yes, real seal. This happens every week. So you can totally come back next week and get that well-earned victory. <laughs> Round one. All right, here we go. Our final first three set. Hunter X Ninja opening with his wall of fireballs. 
knowing the Master Open 7 has fewer options currently to deal with them. Tries to be still through the fireball. He has the go-to. However, it's not exactly free. Oh, here we go. The jumping light kick and the standing jab. Hunter Fidget doesn't like to confirm out of that, though. Instead, he just uh, continues pressure. I see uh, Mask made his return to his normal color. Ooh, that was an interesting uh, air grab there. Looking for something. Again, what is he? What is he looking for here? He's trying to grab a DP or something. Or maybe he's trying to grab that jump back option select like, that hasn't actually been doing anything all all, all game. Hunter X Ninja sitting on full V trigger and full critical art. More than enough to. I, okay, yeah, he decides to save it. Which is the right call. He doesn't pay for it this time around, however. Oh, here we go. There's the V skill through the fireball. Hunter X Ninja gets his confirmation with the critical art, taking off 60% of Mass Nobleman's health right off the get go. Ooh, is that an interior jab that got stuffed? Ooh, that was a jump back juice kick. A lot of getting air grab. A lot of cheering, a lot of cheering from Mass in the uh, step. Mass is definitely the underdog right now, and I like it. You never see them. Always hyped to see After one. After a bracket reset, I see everyone is even. You just have to keep the momentum. That's no one hanging around. Hunter is sitting on a meter advantage, however, Mass Nolman showing that he can do more with that one bar with that random uh, flying Barcelona attack. <laughs> Seal calling out Mass in his chat, saying, Stop doing fraud shit, Mass. Go, go, go. To be fair, fraud shit has been getting him most of his damage. Yeah. Oh, this is totally gonna kill. Yeah, this is done. Alright, so you're getting the perfect. I don't know, Ninja, putting on a show for all of us. Uh oh. Is it gonna Round knock uh, Mask back down or what? Right. All right, here we go. Oh no! Doesn't press the right button to confirm off that uh, that jumping medium kick. That's actually jumping light. Kick. Yeah. Jumping light kick. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have a medium kick cross up. If he did, he'd probably be OP. Yeah, it actually would actually probably be a lot better. Hunter X Ninja with a throw into throw into throw. Working on a stun here on Mass Nobleman. The V reversal to let that stun uh, meter die down a little tiny bit, but now he has no health left. Mass Nobleman's gonna have to work hard, and random sweeps are not <laughs> the definition oh, of working hard. You didn't have a rose, dude. Might what have been looking at the wrong V trigger gauge there. There we go, there's the anterior jab from Hunter X Ninja. Ryu, the most broken anterior jab in the game. He's probably looking for a fireball with that EX roll. Didn't quite get it though. Oh, however, this is going to be a huge punish here, especially considering that he has Meteor to go for the Izuna Drop finisher. Hunter X Ninja has full critical art, however, so one mistake and that can be 50% of your health. Ooh, no crush counter punish on that uh, DP. Now Snowman a little bit too afraid. Dashing into that fireball. Ooh. Ooh, no punish. He couldn't, he was in recovery. Yeah, because he was bouncing back. Yeah, if he would have pressed a button, actually, he would have recovered a little bit faster. He might have been able to get some kind of punish, but still managed to get the round. Under the ninja, full critical art, Mass Nobleman, two flying Barcelona attacks. <laughs> And there's the critical art by Hunter X Ninja. This is going to be huge damage. 
has still been sitting on 50% roughly. However, he does have his Rose and he has all his, his Critical Art. Yep. Which, as we oh. all know, is going to be spent on three on flank bar slam attacks. Well. Here we go. Here's the first one. Oh, no, it's the EX scroll. Immediately into the flank bar slam attack. This is going to be the second one right here. <laughs> Bam! The Poverty Super is what we like to call that. The Poverty Super. <laughs> it's the most underrated super combo. <laughs> oh, with the... Uh... The, I'm still the daddy OS for the uh, touching, or the uh, AA jab. Oh, nice. and closes out the match. Oh, what is the score now? 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. If you didn't see it, um, he whiffed his air throw to, make, to uh, shrink his hitbox. Is that a thing? That's something like Ibuki beta glitch stuff right there. No, Ibuki's got rid of her hitbox completely. Yeah. yeah. Just rank it to zero. <laughs> I wish he still has that, honestly. But essentially, Vega has the same tech as Ken's uh, heavy Katsu. Ooh. It's the air to air. You probably should have air thrown instead of just going for light kick there. Oh, I love it. Dash up command grab. And he's working on a stun, oh, he just needs one more button, and there it there is! Go. This is gonna be big damage, not enough to kill, however. Ooh, tries to go for the Yuzuna drop, it's been getting him so much damage on the table this far. Still managed to close the round, however. Yeah, I caught Hunter pressing button. There we go, there's the EX roll through the fireball, he was looking for that. Ooh, Hunter X Ninja with a very narrow, ambiguous cross under. Good finish oh, on no that sweep. Mouth didn't quite have the rose yet. Now he does. Let's do it now. <laughs> Why not? We've seen that a lot. I feel like I've seen that happen three times. Where he's gotten punished for a sweep and then immediately swept into a rose. Here we go. The dash up command grab. Are you gonna do it again? No. It goes to the jumping instead. Yeah, Hunter X-Men oh, choosing not to just fully charge that, uh, that dungeon, which is probably the right call. Oh, there another command grab. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, as soon as he gets that there, there's the EX Flight Barcelona attack. <laughs> no one ever sees it coming. It's just like when you uh, when you fight an online Yurian, and all they do is whip headbutt. And it works. Oh, man. That's Nolman 7, making every bit of meter count. Wow. All the uh... And it's like on, on paper, I feel like uh, Hunter X Ninja is using his meter a little bit smarter, saving it, converting into critical art, but the amount of damage that Mass Nolman is getting off of those EX Flying Parcelon attacks is insane. <laughs> there, is, there is so much cheering in the uh, Twitch chat right now. For oh, Mass the Nolman. jump in doesn't press light kick, however. He can't confirm, he can't uh, capitalize off of jumping over that fireball. Oh, He's going nice. through that one. Yeah. Hunter is just trying to take advantage of the fireball game when uh yeah, he got a lot of uh, a lot of mileage out of uh, medium punch. There is the counter. Oh, never mind. He tries to go for some kind of claw switch. Mm -hmm. yeah, was... That's all that has his rose now. Yeah, there is the sweep. He's looking for it. He's probably just gonna. All right, he just throws oh, it. Sure. Yeah, Who needs this yeah. rose? Go this shit in orbit. That's Nolan sitting on one point flying Barcelona attack now. He's going to use an EX roll, however. Ooh, again with the uh, air throw. Yeah, and I think you're right that he's trying to shrink his hurtbox so he doesn't get anti-air jabbed or something. Well, all characters with an air throw can abuse that tech. Oh, miss the dash and command grab. It's still very new, though, so not a lot of people implement it. Yeah, I always forget about his air throw, to be honest. It was a very powerful anti -air. It's my favorite anti -air option for all characters that have it. It is. Oh, anti air jab? No anti air throw. Air throw. Uh, I don't know. Some characters don't have to pay off the Good far, very far uh, standing heavy kick uh, crush counter anti air out of Mass Normal. He's got that Some rose now. He's probably going to use it right away. Yeah, he just chucks it into orbit. Why? He confirms it to fuck this rose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this. 
Definitely an input error, but sure, it looked hype. That was let's call that a taunt. <laughs> Oh my god. Cool now. Uh, again, getting so much mileage out of that EX wall dive with another poverty and... super to take that round. Poverty, we playing KOF now? Final round. Fight. And I don't mean KOF 14, I mean like, you know, KOF 2018. No, it's okay, so KOF 14 is such a low budget that you can probably call it poverty. <laughs> I don't know, man, they were able to make 50 character models. Outsourcing those Chinese uh, modeling companies. Alright, Fast Nolman sitting on the Rose and the EX Flying Barcelona attack. He's got all of his tools that he uses at his disposal. We're probably gonna see a uh, sweep in a Rose anytime soon. Uh, he's about to build a second meter. He's looking for that opportunity to catch with a. Whoa. Ooh, the the bait. Trying to bait something out. An overreaction with that, uh, that fake Flying Barcelona attack. Here oh, we go. Oh, wow. Whoa! All right, yeah, you probably should have pressed the button there to recover faster. And there goes the claw. Oh, very nice jump. And I feel like whenever Mass Nolman just sort of um, does that empty flying force on attack, he is trying to get that uh, that button really close to the ground to, to improve his recovery, but it's just like pressing there the it is. too late. Took it. That's it. That's that's our grand finals. Mass Nolman. The Holy Barcelona God. Brawlers. Here, wow. I'll, I'll fix it for you. You gave the win to Hunter Stinge, I'll fix it. Did I really? Yep. <laughs> <For fuck's sake. laughs> I, I I'm trying up. to fix it. Alright, excellent Come on, stuff from Mass 7. That's Very what happens when I'm not paying attention. Oh my god, the Twitch chat. I'll fix it. Bega, Bega, Bega in the Twitch chat. Oh man. Oh, man. Oh, almost like Hunter Ginger won. Good, good luck, uh, good luck next time, Mass Dolman. No. <laughs> Hold on. There's gotta be a way to fix it. <laughs> oh, uh, it was my bad. I, I didn't know that uh, that they swapped characters. Was... Hunter Ginger is a really good, uh, really good Vega. Uh... Alright, so when's that uh, that 3v3 tournament happening, by the way? That is the, the 29th. Uh, the 29th. Alright, we've already got some of these teams lined up. It's gonna be fun. We have we got nine, nine teams, teams so yeah. far. With a is few... It, what's the format? Is it round robin or what? Um, um it, I'm looking at right now my plan. Fuck it. Alright, I accidentally fucked that up. <laughs> Ass one. <laughs> um, just ignore the bracket. But... What I'm looking at is right over in, like, crayon. double elimination. Loser side won't be streamed. <laughs> okay. Why? To, just to make up for time. Like I mean, we'll okay. stream top eight. Yeah, if we get a, if we get a lot of teams, yeah, we will. Uh, we'll stream top eight. Yeah. And what we'll do is we'll we'll stream winners while losers play. And then I mean, once we get the losers finals, we'll stream losers finals, winners finals, grand finals. How many teams but do we gonna... have confirmed that are participating? We have nine. Uh, nine so, teams like... of three. Oh, man. Well, nine teams so, are I mean, we... Like we're definitely going to get more in, like, two weeks. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple more waiting. And yeah, so for um... those of you out there in, uh, in Warrior Land, <clears throat> want to form a team of three, go ahead and uh, get that shit organized. So... <laughs> Real feel is, like, doesn't matter. Barcelona is going to win. Barcelona I don't know, man. Can you, really... Can you guys really fight off creamy Metal Disco? Uh, you guys just I rename mean, yourselves Team Flying Barcelona Attack, Team FBA. <laughs> Team FBA. <laughs> Flying Brawlers Attack. <laughs> Team right. Jump In. Apparently it's the best move of the game, that was new until just now. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, commentating with me. Again, my name is Mount Lover. Here with, uh... I have to wait to get a name, don't even bother. Let's call you Salty Sales. Salty Sales, there we go. Thanks everybody for participating. I'm going to hop out. I'll talk to you guys later. I can't believe you can't be open.